Right, low sweaters here. Get loaded.
that bull has been bellowing all night and he'll carry on all day. Right, I'll have a little push up before he gets back down here. Um, we had a few comments in the last video regarding the colour of this and people not recognising it as lime. Uh, this isn't like a processed lime, uh, like a slack lime, this is quarried lime. Um, and because it's been literally dug at the ground, there was quite a lot of moisture in it, hence the dark colour. Once it's dried, this is probably the colour most people recognise of lime spreading on the ground. Um, I actually don't mind it being a bit damper because it means that my neighbors haven't got to put up with a massive dust cloud and that everything I spread kind of goes on the field. Um, if you spread this stuff when it's really dry you end up liming your neighbors and your neighbors neighbors land as well and if I'm not careful half the town. So I'm quite happy to have it like this because Mrs Miggins at the top of the hill won't have to do her washing again. I've, I've warned all my immediate neighbors that we're doing this but actually watching the machine going up there there's hardly any dust and they probably could have hung the washing out okay so he's going to finish off pigeon mead now um, and then we will go on and do the rest of the farm i'll put the drone up and do some more drone footage i'm going to try and do a bit of every field if i can providing the battery i've only got one drone battery i'm too tight to buy two um, although i will get myself another battery just come and check the babies while I'm here. She still hasn't cleansed yet. Now that might be because I interfered um, and dragged the lambs out. But there is, well, there's still some weight on there. And I think we're about two thirds. So I don't think it'd be long before she drops out, actually. <laughs> she's, tr she's trying to work out what it is. She's, ch she's actually chasing the cleansings. So anyhow, once that drops out, I will pick that up. Um, so these lambs have had all their bits and bobs, they've had their spectrum, they've had um, their navels dipped, uh, there's kind of nothing else I can do for the time being. Once she's dropped her cleanses I will give her a fresh clean bed, so it was a fresh clean bed when I started but there was a lot of fluid in her and she's made a mess. 
So that needs cleaning out and really and truly could actually do with um, maybe a bit of disinfectant. So when she comes out, if I can, I'll disinfect it as well. Right, darling, you got water, you got hay, still got some water. I might just chop that up actually. Right, I'm gonna top her water up and then wait for a driver to come back. Right, I might see if I could put the sheep back in actually. Hmm. Yeah, when it came, because I put a video on that, it was going on like a sand, it's never, but it's going, no, it's just.
so far this seems to be going remarkably well. This is the first time I've ever put lime on the ground and not had every neighbour choking from a dust cloud, so which is quite refreshing. Um, so th this lime came from, we usually get this from a quarry Daglingworth. Um, I'm just trying to remember where he told me this. Sorry, the, we usually get our lime from a quarry at Daglingworth, which is up uh, between Sirencester and Stroud direction. Uh, this came from further north up Cheltenham way, I think. Um, the driver did tell me, but I can't remember. So, but uh, we'll see how the ground and the grass performs. But um, hopefully, this will actually help our grass and help our pH and and everything else. So, right, he's getting ready to load up again. swimmingly in it. Nothing's gone wrong yet. Jinx down, eh? Well come on man, you're all whinging about being left in the house. Whinge, whinge, whinge. I want to come out. Why can't I come out? Why have you shut me in? Blah, blah, blah.
uh, getting my sheep paddocks done as well. Good oh. Bit tighter in there. Just get, come on, come back a bit. Come on. Come on. You want to catch one in the idea? No. Looking down, showed him the eyes. No, nothing reached me. Bit lumpy. That break up, I suppose. But it's pretty much it's scattering pretty well really. And all these bits will actually break down, he says. That one won't. That one won't. That one won't. But these will weather down. And hopefully carry on putting lime in the ground for next year or so. Right, well I think this will be the last load, there's only about four maybe four and a bit bucketfuls on there so a couple of ton um, basically we've done everything we wanted to do we thought we might have a couple of ton left over and I've just told the driver which field I want it on most which is the bottom left hand that's the one that seems to suffer most with buttercup and rubbish so we're putting a bit extra on there um, so that one's gonna get sort of ton and a half acres I think so I'm just waiting for him to come back up now and that will be that done so I say we're out of battery on the drone, so we couldn't do any more of that. Um, and I've charged this battery up three times now, so I think I've got almost 50 clips to go through on this camera alone. So I think this is probably going to be two videos. It's going to be, I'm never going to condense this all down into one and keep it under an hour. So I think we'll put this into two. Um, the first one will be lambing because I had to lamb the ewe this morning. I will, I don't know which one's going up yet. It'll be either this one or the lambing one. Maybe I'll keep the lambing one back. Um, so when we do the membership thing, so I've got something a bit special to start off with, if it's any good. And no, probably I won't actually. I'll probably just, just give it you anyway, so. Anyway, I'll just wait for him to come back up and we will be done. 
Right, that's the lime done. He's just finishing off that last little bit before he goes home. Job done, it is almost three o'clock and I think I've done enough filming for today. So I'll see you on the other side of the edit. Cheers, folks.